Welcome back to Poe Mesa Channel. In this video, we will provide a detailed explanation of how to configure a solar system using a 3 kW all-in-one solar inverter and a 25V off-grid energy storage system. The checklist includes nearly all the items you will need, and I will guide you on how to select the correct specifications for each component. The required components generally include solar panels, an inverter, storage batteries, and installation and wiring accessories. We begin by selecting a 3 kW inverter. The first consideration is the inverter's alpha power, which determines the system's maximum load capacity based on the power of the connected loads. Next, consider the system voltage which dictates the compatible battery voltage. Finally, review the PV input power, which determines the maximum size of solar array the system can support. As you can see, the maximum PV input power does not always match the inverter's radial alpha power. When the maximum PV input power exceeds the inverter's radial alpha power, this configuration is known as oversizing. Oversizing refers to setup where the maximum PV input power exceeds the inverter's rated alpha power. Since the maximum power output of solar panels is influenced by the weather conditions and it typically does not reach the rated capacity, oversizing the solar array ensures higher energy production in typical conditions. Meeting the inverter's rated output demand when weather conditions are optimal and sunlight is abundant, the system assess power will not overload or damage the inverter, but will be safely utilized, improving the overall efficiency and stability of the system. Let's proceed with the solar panel configuration using the PO HVN 3K 24V Edge all-in-one solar inverter as an example. This system can support a maximum solar array capacity of 4000 watt with a maximum input current of 30 ampere and a working voltage range of 120 volt to 450 volt. Assuming we choose SP 200 amp solar panels, each with a 200 watt power rating and open circuit voltage of 21.8 volt and a short circuit current of 11.62 ampere. We can calculate that up to 20 panels can be connected. However, due to the current limit, power connection is not allowed as this would exist in voters in current capacity. By connecting 20 SP200M panels in series, the open circuit voltage will reach 436 volts, which falls within the inverter's acceptable voltage range. In summary, when configuring solar panels, both the panel selection and the serial power configuration need to be carefully considered as the two factors are interdependent. For battery configuration, key factors to consider include system voltage, battery type, and total capacity. For this example, 24 volt each will guide the serial power configuration of the batteries. Depending on specific needs and application scenarios, you can choose between the C or lithium batteries. We have summarized the advantages and disadvantages of C and lithium batteries for your reference. In general, C batteries are a more economical choice for short-term use or when the budget is limited. For long-term use or when aiming for high efficiency and low maintenance, lithium batteries are the better option. Also, the initial investment is higher, the overall cost in the long term is lower. If the project prioritizes system stability, energy efficiency, and longevity, lithium batteries are typically the more ideal choice. Finally, let's discuss the configuration of the total capacity for the energy storage battery bank. This can be determined based on the total daily energy consumption of the electrical loads you plan to connect. The goal is to ensure that the system can run for at least 24 hours without grid power or solar input. 
Start by listing all the devices to connect it, noting their power consumption and usage time. Calculate the daily power consumption for each device, then sum them up to get the total energy consumption for the day. Divide the total power consumption by the system voltage to determine the required battery capacity. If possible, add a 50% safety margin to enhance the system stability. For example, if a 24 volt system requires a 400 amp hour battery bank, you can achieve this by using Pol 100 amp hour 12.8 volt lithium ion phosphate batteries. Connect two batteries in series to form 24 volt, and then connect two such series strings in parallel to reach 400 amp hour. If you choose a DIY installation, you will need various installation accessories. For example, mounting accessories include nominal rails, owl feet, roof flashing, T bolts, cable clamps, and other components required for mounting solar panel on the roof or anywhere you want. Electrical accessories include cables, terminals, junction box, circuit breakers. Fuses, isolators, grounding components, and distribution box. When selecting electrical components, ensure that the rated current of all components exceeds the system's maximum operating current by at least 10 to 20 percent for safety. You can find detailed guidelines on cable and circuit breaker configuration in our previous video tutorials on the channel. This concludes the three kilowatt solar system configuration guide. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.